Data is always at risk. It can be at risk while traveling over the web, or technically speaking in transit. Data is also vulnerable when it is stored somewhere, or technically speaking in rest. Let's talk about several simple ways to protect it. So, data is in transit when, for instance, you are submitting a form or checking lab results on the website or application, or when you have to upload files to the cloud storage, or even when you are monitoring your heart rate through an app. To protect data in transit, you should encrypt it before it is transmitted, authenticate the endpoints, and decrypt and verify it at its destination. The basic tool for such encryption is HTTPS, or technically speaking, TLS 1.2 protocol. How does this protocol work? It takes the message you are planning to send, splits its parts and mixes them together using an algorithm driven by a public key, the rule for encryption. The protocol on the recipient side of the communication takes the encrypted message and unpacks it using a private key, the rule for decryption. Data is in rest when it is kept on any kind of storage, in the cloud, on the hard drive, on the flashcard, anywhere. To protect data in rest, you have to employ security access policies, like who can access the data, what data can be accessed, and where it is safe to store it. For the web systems and applications, the best practice is to separate the user base and the PHI. The communication between these two must be kept within the local network, without exposure to the web. Also, it is very important to encrypt the entire database. And, in addition, we recommend to encrypt fields containing PHI. Nowadays, we have plenty of standard solutions for data protection that don't require a lot of effort from your developers. These solutions are HTTPS and built-in database encryption that is supported by all major databases.